So this week's word of the week for week number 25 is WAD. Now WAD is an abbreviation for workout of the day. This is commonly used in gyms as well as CrossFit boxes. WADs let individuals know what exercises they will be doing for that day. Again, workout of the day. So make sure you guys get ready for your WAD or your fast five workout of the day as well as your activity of the day. And we'll get started in just a moment. channel hey thanks for tuning in to another amazing video if you're new to the channel make sure you high five that subscribe button and you high five that bell notification so you don't miss any of our upcoming and newest activities so this week's fast five workout number 25 consists of the following four exercises exercise number one we have scissors exercise number two we have squat jacks exercise number three we have side shuffles and exercise number four we have planks so make sure you stay tuned and don't, I repeat, do not go anywhere. All right, so here we go for fast five, workout number 25, exercise number one is scissors. I will start with my left foot forward, right foot back, and then I'm just gonna switch, alternate, right foot leg, right leg comes forward, left leg goes back, and I'm gonna go back and forth, okay? Those are what I call scissors, that's exercise number one. Exercise number two, we have squat jacks. So I'm gonna get to a nice squat position, feet shoulder width apart, I'm gonna drop my bottom, come up, and when I come up, I'm gonna do a jumping jack. Squat, jumping jack. Okay, those are called squat jacks. Then we have side shuffles. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to my left. And what I'm gonna do is kind of like a high step. I'm gonna step right, come up, step right, come up, step right, come up. So it's gonna be called a side shuffle. So it should look like this, full speed, turn a side shuffle, and then we're gonna go back, leading with your left foot. So three to the right, three to the left, okay? Got side shuffle. So exercise number four is planks. So we're gonna go and do a, uh, either a push-up plank or a forearm plank. It's completely up to you, whatever your levels are. So I'm gonna start with a push-up plank. So I'm gonna make sure my hands are facing forward. I'm gonna stand upright like I'm doing a push-up and I'm gonna hold that push-up position in a push-up plank. Again, if you wanna challenge yourself and do a forearm plank, Make sure you guys use your forearms, not your elbows. And you're gonna hold yourself up for 30 seconds. So make sure you guys get ready for your fast five workout number 25, and we'll get started in just a moment. Three, two, one, and go. Scissors. Okay. Forward and backwards. Alternating your feet. Let's go. Guys, focus on breathing, breathe in, breathe out. Let's go, let's go, my friends. Remember, Sugar C is motto just finish. Whatever you start in life, just finish. Alright, get ready for those squat checks. In three, two, one, and go. Squat and Good job. Good work, my friends. Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Get into those side shuffles. Again, I'm going to lift my right foot first, starting in three, two, one, and go. Up. Kind of like karaoke, but you're not crossing your legs. Watch out your arms. Get the dynamic exercise in. Three, two, one, and let's go. Planks. Push up plank. Round one for me. Start breathing. Straight. You need to take a break, bring the top down, get back up, touch yourself, go 
Subscribe and comment. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought about the workout. What was the most challenging exercise from today's Fast Five workout? Again, don't forget to drop a comment down below what exercises you would like to see on a future Fast Five workout. Drop a comment down below. And don't forget to use our hashtag, the PE spot. And as always, at the PE spot, the fun never stops. Until next time, take care. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, thank you for tuning in to another amazing video. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you uh, high five that subscribe button and you uh, high five that bell notification so you don't miss any of our upcoming new activities. All right, so today's do-it-yourself fun activity is called Fishbowl. So make sure you stay tuned and don't go anywhere.
All right, so for this fun do-it-yourself game, what you're gonna need is a few items. You're gonna need some ping pong balls, a bottle cap, disposable plastic cups, a vase or a plastic bucket, something of some sort. Um, you're gonna need your launchers that we created. If you guys don't know how to create a launcher, um, I'll go ahead and drop a link below for you guys to check out the video to help create a launcher because you will need it for this activity. A table or a chair or something that can uh, keep the bucket or um, cups elevated. So stay tuned, we'll get to that in just a moment. All right, so here's the setup for this activity. You're gonna need your table or something to elevate your activity. We have a vase here. Again, if you guys don't have a vase, that's okay. You can substitute it for a bucket, just like this size, it doesn't matter, whatever you guys can get. Use your created launcher, and what you're gonna to have to do is you are gonna to have to catapult or launch your ping pong ball or bottle cap and make it land inside of the vase. For level one, your job is just to make it inside the vase. Whoever makes it in the vase first wins. Okay, so that is level one. We'll get to that in just a moment. Right, here we go. First part, person to make it inside of the base wins. Starting at three, two, one, and go. Oh, off the first shot on the second. Oh. Two, and what we have on the table now is just a bunch of cups. Now, Jordan and I are going to have one minute, one minute to get as many balls to land inside of any of these cups. Okay, every cup is worth one point. So, after the one minute, we're going to see who wins round two with whoever has the most balls inside of the cup. Here we go, one minute of the clock starting in three, two, one. And go. So let's say I make two cups, that's worth two points, and I make the base. I get five points for the base, I get a total of seven points for this round, okay? Jordan makes ten cups, 
and no base, and therefore he still gets those 10 points at the end of the round. Whoever has the most points at the end of the round wins. Whoever makes it the base ends the game. Three, two, one, go. Well, we really hope you enjoyed this game of Fishbowl. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Drop a comment below. Let us know. What did you guys think about the activity? Uh, did you guys enjoy using the launchers? What other activities have you guys used or have done that you created? So make sure you guys drop a comment below. So as always, at the P-Spot, the fun never stops. Until next time, take care.